Right now, somewhere beyond the sun, something is happening that no one on Earth can witness. 3. I slash Atlas, the third interstellar object ever detected, has entered the solar system, and in just days, it will make its closest approach to the sun inside Mars's orbit. For the next six weeks, we are totally blind. Telescopes on Earth and in space cannot track it at all. This is not a normal comet. 3i slash Atlas has turned from red to green, is loaded with strange materials, and its behavior is defying every rule we know. So when October 29th arrives, will this interstellar visitor quietly move on, or will its encounter with the sun shatter everything we thought we understood about objects from beyond our solar system? The stakes start now. On October 21st, 3i slash Atlas slips into superior conjunction, hidden directly behind the sun from Earth's perspective. The geometry is exact. The sun stands between us and the object, blocking every ground-based telescope and even most space observatories. As of now, the comet is about 1.4 astronomical units from the sun, well inside the orbit of Mars. The line connecting Earth, the Sun, and Atlas forms a near-perfect straight shot, and that means the Sun's glare washes out any hope of detection. Even the most sensitive instruments, Hubble, JWST, the Very Large Telescope, are forced to stand down. Solar elongation drops below 10 degrees, a hard limit for safe pointing, so the world's best equipment is effectively blind. This isn't just a technical inconvenience. For the next six weeks, every potential outburst, fragmentation, or brightness spike from 3i slash Atlas happens with no one watching. The only hope for a glimpse comes from solar coronagraphs like SOHO's LASCO C3, but with a limiting magnitude of seven or eight, and Atlas predicted at magnitude 12, even these fallback options are out of reach. The object could flare dramatically, or it could fade into the background. No one will know until late November, when the geometry finally shifts and the comet emerges from behind the sun. Until then, the solar system's third interstellar visitor is on the far side of the sun, and for the first time since its discovery, all eyes on Earth are forced to look away. 3i slash Atlas was first detected by the Atlas Survey Team in Chile on July 1, 2025, with a handful of earlier images traced back to mid-June. Within just hours of discovery, astronomers realized its path was hyperbolic, eccentricity around 6.1, meaning this object had arrived from deep interstellar space, not bound to the Sun or any planet. That instantly placed it in rare company, only two other interstellar objects have ever been confirmed. 1i slash Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i slash Borisov in 2019. Unlike Oumuamua, which slipped by before anyone could see it up close, 3i slash Atlas was spotted well before perihelion, giving scientists a front row seat to its inbound journey. The team behind Atlas joined by researchers from ZTF and ground-based observatories worked around the clock to confirm the trajectory. Chat logs and scheduling records show a scramble for telescope time. Every major instrument from JWST to VLT saw urgent requests, sometimes sparking tense debates over who would get the first look. The stakes were high. A third interstellar visitor, inbound and still brightening, with the promise of revealing chemistry from another star system. Calculations show Atlas will reach its closest point to the Sun, perihelion, on October 29, 2025, at precisely 11.55 Universal Time. At that moment, it will be about 1.36 astronomical units from the Sun, just inside the orbit of Mars. This timing and distance are not just numbers. They give scientists a unique chance to watch how an object forged far beyond our solar system responds to intense solar heat and radiation. Some models even suggest its trajectory may trace back to the thick disk of the Milky Way, hinting at an age of 7 billion years or more.
For now, all eyes, at least those not blinded by the sun, are fixed on this rare traveler and what it might reveal. Color is one of the first things that set 3i-slash-atlas apart. When the first spectra came in, it glowed a deep red, just what you would expect for an object fresh out of interstellar space. But over the next few weeks, something happened. The red faded, replaced by a vivid green. Normally, green in a comet's coma means diatomic carbon, excited by sunlight. Except, repeated scans from VLT and Keck found almost no C2 at all. The lead spectroscopist, Dr. Elena Morales, flagged it in her notes. Green emission, but C2 bands absent. Source unknown. The chemistry only gets stranger. Most comets are rich in water vapor, with carbon dioxide as a minor player. Here, CO2 dominates, nearly 20 times more than H2O. Even the nickel to iron ratio is upside down. Atomic nickel lines show up strong, but iron is missing, a pattern that does not match any natural comet seen before. Morales' team tracked the nickel signal rising as Atlas approached the sun, but iron lines stayed flat, buried in noise. In laboratory simulations, nothing in the usual comet recipes could reproduce this selective metal vaporization. Then there is the way light bounces off the dust. When sunlight hits the coma, the scattered light dims instead of brightening, an effect called negative polarization. It is the most extreme ever measured. Classical models cannot explain it. And the tail, instead of streaming away from the sun, sometimes points back toward it, as if the solar wind is bending in reverse. Every textbook on comet physics says this should not be possible. Yet here it is, clear as day in the data. For the observing teams, these optical oddities are not just quirks. They are a direct challenge to everything we thought we knew about how comets behave. Inside the lab, the search for answers takes a different path. Teams have been trying to recreate Atlas's green glow and its extreme polarization using every trick in the book, vacuum chambers, high-powered lasers, even rare nickel compounds. But so far, every experiment falls short. The closest any group has come is a faint tint, never the vivid emerald seen in the comet's coma. Dr. Sheeran Patel, who leads a plasma modeling group, admits, we can't get the dust to scatter light the same way, no matter how we tweak the chemistry. It's like the rules are different out there. On the observational front, the limits are just as stubborn. Solar coronagraphs like SOHO's LASCO C3 are designed to spot comets grazing the sun, but only if they're bright enough. Atlas at magnitude 12 is simply too faint. The threshold for a clear detection is about magnitude 8. That means even the best solar imagers are blind, unless the comet flares by several magnitudes, something no one can predict. The main fallback, waiting for the object to reappear after conjunction, offers no guarantee either. By then, activity could have faded, or the object might have fragmented beyond recognition. Mainstream astronomers, meanwhile, urge caution. Dr. Eric Lavoie, a veteran of comet surveys, puts it plainly, extraordinary claims require extraordinary data, and right now, we have none. Most likely, we're seeing unfamiliar chemistry, not a new law of physics. The scientific process is patient by design. For now, the most advanced instruments and the sharpest minds are left with incomplete pieces, waiting for the solar glare to lift and the next round of data to arrive. As 3i slash Atlas sweeps toward perihelion, its speed climbs from 58 kilometers per second up to an astonishing 68 kilometers per second, the fastest ever recorded for an interstellar object in our solar system. The path is nearly flat, tracing just five degrees off the ecliptic, so the object's trajectory slices through the inner system with surgical precision. Its orbit isn't just open, it's dramatically hyperbolic, with an eccentricity of about 6.1, making a return trip impossible. 
Orbital analysts have compared its arc to a stone skipping across a pond. One shot, one crossing, never to circle back. Right now, while the world's telescopes are blind, Atlas is racing through the most intense part of its journey, every second carrying it closer to the point of no return. Late October brings a rare kind of symmetry to the solar system. On the 29th, 3I slash Atlas passes through Virgo, while Jupiter and Pluto cluster in Gemini and Capricorn, and the minor planets Chiron and Eris drift through Aries. The geometry is imperfect, no sharp cross, no precise right angles, but the effect is striking. Fields of gravity, motion, and energy overlapping across millions of kilometers. A planetary dynamics commentator puts it this way, these alignments aren't just lines on a chart, there are moments when the orbits of worlds and a visitor from another star all intersect in time. The resonance is real, even if the pattern is more suggestion than design. For astronomers, it's a reminder of how much order and coincidence can blur together out here. On October 29th, 2025, 3 I Atlas will reach its closest point to the Sun, just 1.36 astronomical units away a moment no telescope on Earth can witness directly. Since its discovery, the object has confounded scientists. It shifted from red to green without the usual carbon molecules, shows record-breaking negative polarization, and emits a sunward tail unlike any known comet. Laboratory attempts to reproduce its chemistry have failed, and its brightness remains too faint for real-time solar imaging. Mainstream astronomers argue these features may stem from unfamiliar interstellar chemistry, while others point to the limits of current observation. With all data streams silent until December, essential questions remain. Will 3 I slash Atlas flare, fragment, or alter course? Or will it quietly exit, leaving only new mysteries? What is certain, this encounter is expanding the boundaries of comet science and reminds us just how much remains unknown in our own solar system.